jumped me by a few points, but you know, we can't all draw submerged and brainstorms in the mirror, but <laughs> a million free spells for the counter war. Yeah. All right, we have Jadine Klumperens. She's back on camera with the Jeskai Tempo deck, but playing against a pretty sweet deck in its own right. This is Michael Beignet's Black White Warriors deck. Warriors! And I'm assuming this means we have the Uncommons, right? The Chief of the Chief of the Edge. Chief of the Scale. That's what we got. Oh, wait, no. Uh, we just, just got the Edge. Just the Edge. Rats. So I actually played a versus video uh, this past week where uh, we were playing with some new stuff, and I got to play with... Uh, Oh man, Obelisk of Erd and all of the warriors, and it was pretty cool. But it's it was a little less aggressive than than what this looks like, and a little more gimmicky. But this deck doesn't look so bad. Yeah, both players here on three on a small number of lands. Just running it down, we're in game three here. Beignets at three, Jadine's at nine. Uh, Michael's able to hero's downfall her last creature there, so he has Painseer and Tormented Hero, but he's facing down a Chandra Pyromaster. And it looks like Jean just has it uh, with a well, Stoke the Flames. So Yeah, like I said, JD, another uh, Ross Miriam advocate of the luckiest evers. But no, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's playing a Jeskai Tempo deck, and her opponent was at three. She has, like, literally 30 outs in her deck to kill him or whatever. Yeah, it's so, a, a good amount. Lightning Strike, Jeskai Charm, Sarkhan, Stoke the Flames, Mantis Rider. Oh, all, man, I wish we outs. had more time to watch Jadine uh, play her deck, because her deck actually looks sweet. She has four copies of Seeker of the Way. That's the uh, two-mana, uh, two-two white prowess creature that gets plus one, plus one, a lifelink whenever you cast exactly. a non-creature spell. That guy seems really powerful 